Now, you may remember earlier in the week we wondered what the arrangement of wheelbarrows was below our studios. Hmm. Joe's been finding out. Well, Tony, now's your opportunity. You can tell us what it's really all about. Well, the RHS came to me and asked for a centenary exhibit. Um, being slightly subversive, I thought about the unsung heroes of Chelsea and telling the story through the wheelbarrow, you know, from the wheelbarrow's point of view. Um, the wheelbarrow being the ultimate unsung hero. It, it built every garden here from the beginning to now. It built the roads, it built the railways, it's built everything. And yet it's never given any credit. So it represents every man. It uh, and you've got wheelbarrows dating back to 100 years? Um, this one is 1930, was in use in 1936, the wooden one. Yeah. Um, and um, we know that, got documentary evidence that that was here in 1936, that style of barrow. Okay. Um, and we think probably earlier as well. Um, and then we come up more up to date until we get to the one that we actually built this exhibit with. Uh, new from the Builders Merchants. That's the one that you use here. Built this exhibit and then it goes on the plinth. And that's never ever happened before. No, no one's ever given a wheelbarrow any credit whatsoever, <laughs> have they? <laughs> they don't usually leave it on the garden, that's for uh, sure. But no. it's not just about the wheelbarrows, it's about the people who are pushing and using the wheelbarrows, really. That's why the wheelbarrows in the exhibit are standing up on end. That's why they look like people. They represent people, they represent the workers. Um, you've got perhaps the poncy designers that get all the credit at the front of, of the queue with the gold barrow. Yeah. And then behind that, you've got the ranks of workers going down slightly in height and, and perceived importance. But actually, when you think about it, the millions of people who've worked over 100 years to make Chelsea happen, if they weren't there, none of the designers would have got their medals. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the plants too as well. You use some real stalwarts in, in gardens that we see around Chelsea, but perhaps not the stars of the show. Yeah, I love, I love anyway using plants that people normally overlook and making them the centre of attention. Because um, the, these plants are in most of the gardens, but not getting any of the plaudits. Yeah. But if you took them out, if you took the yew hedges and, and the beech hedges, the hornbeer hedges out of the gardens on Main Avenue, they would look terrible. But no one actually comes and says, wow, that's a brilliant gold medal winning hedge. Yeah. And you're always brought in a last minute as usual to help the <laughs> RHS out. And you've done a fitting tribute. Thanks, Tony. Thank you.